Hey, if you're curious, what is the best SD card out there that you could use on your Raspberry Pi 5? Then watch this video because I'm gonna be going through the most popular SD cards and I'll show you which ones are the fastest and how they compare to each other. Because with Raspberry Pi 4, it wasn't that important. The maximum speed you could get was around 40 megabytes a second. But with Raspberry 5, you could go even up to 100 megs a second. So you don't want to buy a slow SD card. You may want to use the SD card for operating system, maybe for installing some apps, maybe for storage. I will tell you which card is the best for which purpose. So come, I will show you where I got all these uh, performance results. So there's a website called pibenchmarks.com. This is where everyone is uploading their test results. And uh, this is a massive database of uh, all the performance numbers. This website is horrible and it takes forever to find something. So I spent a few hours uh, listing all the SD card tests and uh, trying to find out uh, the averages and what's the fastest, slowest speeds you could expect from each card. So this is what I found out at the end of this research. So the cards I'm gonna be comparing is gonna be Lexar 300X. So the minimum speed you could get from this card is nine megabytes uh, and maximum could be 70 megabytes. We're gonna use the remaining test results later on when we compare uh, these cards later on. So the second card was Lexar SD 633X the speed expected from 32 to 63 megabytes a second, Samsung Evo Plus, speed from 16 to 54 megs a second, SanDisk Extreme A1, speed 46 to 62 megs a second, SanDisk Ultra A1, 25 to 37 megs, Kingston SD Canvas Go Plus from 59 to 71 megs, SanDisk Extreme Pro from 64 to 72 megs, PNI SD Premier X, speed from 17 to 69. Samsung Pro Ultimate, speed from 49 to 66 megs a second. Samsung SD Evo Select, speed from 20 to 50 megs a second. So obviously before you choose your SD card, you will need to figure out what is the use case for this card. What is the maximum speed? How fast are the IOPS? How quickly you can request and receive the data back from this SD card? All these different measurements will be important uh, in order to figure out what's the best SD card for your use case. Because you could use it for simple backups, file storage, so you can quickly uh, upload your data to SD card. You could just use it for a running operating system and apps, so you'll need faster IOPS, faster response rates. Or if you simply use that SD card for storing your multimedia files, then none of this is important and only capacity is really that matters. So when we compare these SD cards regarding write speeds, the best card was SanDisk Extreme Pro A2, followed by Kingston SD Canvas Go and then Samsung SD Pro Ultimate. So the speeds we were getting on average were 69, 67 megabytes a second. Then regarding IOPS, the best SD card was Samsung SD Pro Ultimate, followed by Kingston SD Canvas Go and SanDisk Extreme Pro. So that's read IOPS. Regarding write IOPS, the best is Kingston SD Canvas, followed by Samsung SD Pro and SanDisk Extreme Pro. So regarding caching, the best card is Alexa SD 633X, followed by Samsung and Kingston Canvas Go. So let's go again quickly through what is the best card in each category. So DD Write, SanDisk Extreme, Random Read IOPS, Samsung Pro, Random Read Speed, Samsung Pro, Random Write IOPS, Kingston, Random Writes Kilobytes Per Second, Kingston, Cache, Lexar, Disk Performance, Kingston Canvas Go, 4K Read, Samsung Pro, 4K Write, uh, Kingston Canvas Go, 4K Normal Write, Kingston, and 4K Write Speed, Kingston SD Canvas Go. So if I need to come to a conclusion, what is overall the best SD card? I would say it's Kingston Canvas Go Plus. It's really fast, good capacity, high response, overall very good SD card to choose. So as I said, I kept this video very short so you can figure out which SD card is the best for you. If you also want to figure out what is the best NVMe SSD that you could use for Raspberry Pi 5 or other device, uh, let me know. I'm gonna make a video so you can have a look which uh, SSD is the best for which use case for either caching, for storage, or for simple backup. Otherwise, if you wanna see similar videos like this, uh, do follow the channel and you'll be notified when the next video comes live. See you next time.